The stage lights are shining, the stars are smiling, and the red carpet is rolled out at Premiere on Broadway. Like any great Broadway premiere, Premiere on Broadway is big and bold and beautiful. But this show didn't open in New York City. It debuted in Somerville, Massachusetts. Premiere on Broadway is your one-stop shop. It's the place that you can come and spend your whole night. You can come, have an amazing dinner, have some awesome drinks, and then dance the night away. Corinne Zamudo and her family are from the neighborhood and are the folks behind this stunning, spacious spot boasting a 300-seat restaurant, 70-seat bar, 600-square-foot stage, for live music and a big red carpet right out front. A couple people think it's tacky, but I mean, I think this is Broadway and yeah, you are in Somerville, but we want you to get that vibe as soon as you walk in the door. Like this is the place to be, like you're about to walk into something amazing. And one of the first things you'll notice when you walk in are the dozens of paintings of famous entertainers all over the walls, courtesy of Corinne's father. My dad is a workaholic, he doesn't sleep. And he decided one day to start painting. And if you go down the basement, we used to have a pool room and the pool room has now turned into dad's studio. So. So he goes down there after work and he just paints and miraculously one day we were like, holy crap, you can paint. You know, like, where did this come from? With the decor, the drinks, and live music, the atmosphere is certainly top-notch. And when it comes to the food, executive chef Dan Bazzanotti makes sure the Italian-American dishes coming out of his kitchen are up to the same high standards. When I was talking with Corinne about this restaurant before we opened, I said, you know, you always have places that are great music and great atmosphere and things like that, but the food always is subpar. And one thing that Corinne wanted to do is to make sure that we have great food. And that's kind of why they brought me on board here. And we've been getting to have a lot of fun. We're doing Italian American food, but we're having a ton of fun with it. So not only you get dinner and a show, but you're getting a pretty awesome dinner. The opening act of your meal at Premier on Broadway features appetizers like Sicilian style arancini made with New Orleans style dirty rice, a big antipasti board loaded with imported and house made charcuterie, and meatballs passed down from Corinne's grandmother. These are a Zamudo family recipe meatball. So we use veal, pork, and beef, and there's a little bit of whipped ricotta underneath. My grandmother's meatballs are so tender. When I was a kid, we used to have our big crock of sauce with our meatballs, and we'd run by with the scally bread and dip it in, and we'd be getting in trouble. Don't touch my sauce! So now I grab some bread and I always grab a meatball and I pinch it and I'm like, oh, I don't have to get in trouble here. Those same great meatballs are also showcased in an entree known as the Rigatoni della Nana. And this dish owes some credit to Dan's grandma. The Rigatoni is near and dear to my heart. It's based off a recipe that my grandmother makes. It's one of my favorite things. It's Rigatoni pasta, house-made meatballs. We top it off with a big beef rib and house-made sausage. If you're coming in and you want some comfort food, you want something that's familiar, it makes you feel so good. Premier on Broadway's menu has meals for any mood. For something upscale, order the grilled prime sirloin served atop polenta, or the house-made butternut squash ravioli with sage, brown butter, and crumbled amaretti cookie. If you'd rather something handheld, check out the sausage, pepper, and onion sub featuring house-made pork sausage bursting from a sweet, squishy potato roll, or the double patty smash burger with melted American cheese on a sesame seed bun. One of our best sellers at an Italian restaurant, the burger. Who to think? Of course, it's no surprise surprise that the best selling dish here is the chicken parmigiana, but its spot on the menu didn't come without some controversy. The chicken parm was not on the original opening menu. Corinne and I sat down. And I go to Dan and go, hey Dan, are we going to put chicken parm on the menu? And he's like, I don't really want to do the chicken parm, I'm not sure. And I'm like, we cannot not have chicken palm. We ended up doing it and I said, if we're gonna do it, I'm gonna make it like bigger than your head. It's gonna be one of those premiere moments. It's gonna show stop. So he comes out with this chicken palm and it's bigger than my head. I'm like, oh my God, this is the chicken palm that everyone needs. It's so crispy on the edges and you have fresh mozzarella on the top with some basil. It is to die for. And while this dish is always the star of the show, Corinne likes to give it a little extra push behind the scenes. It's funny because people will come in, they're like, what's the best thing on the menu? And I'm like, don't tell chef, but just get the chicken palm. He's like, why is the chicken palm selling so much? I'm like, I just love it. When it comes to dessert here, the only dish you need to know is the tiramisu. This is one of the desserts that we make in-house. It's just super decadent, light and fluffy. You get that zip from the espresso. We put a little bit of rum in there and a little coffee liqueur too. It is so rich, so creamy, just every day. Tiramisu, tiramisu. So everyone loves the tiramisu and the guys do a phenomenal job making it. And the whole team at Premiere on Broadway does a great job making sure your big night out here hits all the right notes. We're trying to create 
that experience. And we want everything to hit. We want the music, the drinks, the food. We want to feel that hustle and bustle. We want to see it. And we want to make sure you feel special. You feel accommodated. You're going to have a great time. And this is a show.